Welcome to the Daily Devo. My name is Grant and today we're talking about bitter roots. I want to jump right into Hebrews chapter 12 verse 15. Make sure that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no root of bitterness springs up causing trouble and defiling many. Within the passage, you very quickly see this idea that you should look after one another. And one of the things that you need to know that in this moment, in this text, is actually addressing a broader faith community. This isn't necessarily meant to be read as something individualistic and very specific to you. The entire faith community is being addressed as you are discipling and holding one another to account. It's very specific, though, that as you're doing that, you need to look out for something. Well, what do you need to look out for? It says to look out for a bitter root which I don't really think it's talking about a legit root. So then what is a bitter root? It's a person who has a wrong view of eternal security. This person feels secure when they're really not secure. They say things like, I shall be safe if I do blank, or they think that as long as I can walk in stubbornness, that they'll be fine. This person, that they have a misunderstanding of the new relationship that they have with God. They think that because they're a part of the covenant or they're part of a group of people or they just associate with the church that they're secure and that God's judgment will pass over them and that they'll have a relationship with him. There's this baked-in presumption actually throughout the entire book of Hebrews because it deals repeatedly with professing Christians who think that they're saved because of something that they have done or some experience that they have or some association that they have with other Christian people. The aim of Hebrews, though, is to cure Christians of that assumption and to cultivate an earnest and true faith in pursuit of holiness. At least four times it warns that we must not neglect our great salvation, but to be vigilant, to fight, that the fight of faith is an everyday fight and an everyday decision, and that we shouldn't become hardened and fall away and prove that we had no share in Christ. Here's a practical example, though, of a bitter root. A bitter root is someone in your church or in your community or maybe even yourself where you're jaded a little bit. You're cynical to the work that God is doing around you. You're the person that when you sit there and hear someone share their testimony, you're more concerned about the sins they used to commit than the grace of God that's now just showering over them. You're the person that when you sit there or that person that sits there and they see the baptistries full of people, but they get cynical because they're not sure if those salvations were actually real or if they're really ready to make that kind of a decision. You're the person within your faith community who doubts what God is doing in others or you find yourself being a gossip. A bitter root within a church can cause a lot of problems. But if I were to narrow it in a little bit on you, is there a bitter root taking hold in your heart? In my own life, the common bitter root that I have is when there are people that I wouldn't invite into a relationship with Jesus finding Jesus. There, I said it. People who have hurt me, people who have frustrated me, people who have profoundly wronged me, when I see them come to know Christ, I literally think to myself, gosh, them too. Like, great, that's amazing, you know Jesus now, but there's this part of my heart that goes like, man, they're getting there too. If I'm being honest, it's a bitter root that's taking root in my life and in my heart. Are there areas in your life, in your heart, in your faith walk, where there's a bitter root and it's taken hold? You're finding yourself to be cynical or jaded Seeing people being transformed by the goodness of who Jesus is, it doesn't hit the way that it used to. Because here's the thing. Jesus didn't change. The goodness of God hasn't changed. His promises, they have not changed. So my question in your life and in your heart, man, what's changed? What's so different now? So my encouragement to you is this. Would you be willing to first acknowledge the bitterness? But more importantly, would you be willing to ask God that he might remove it and that you might find the joy not only of your own salvation, but once again find joy in the work that God is doing around you as well. Thank you for watching The Daily Devo.